Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to more Game Dev Tycoon. Game Dev. I'm Jeff. I'm Game Dev. I'm Nathan. And, uh, yeah, we I just, uh, our game you'll recall last time we were releasing our good old first quest. Oh, not, yeah. Definitely not our first game in a, <laughs> by any stretch of it. Yeah. Definitely, 18 not years. A, definitely not a play on Final... Whatever that game yeah, is. Final something, rather. Yeah. Final Destination? Maybe. Yeah. That sounds about right. And it's, uh, it's doing well. It's racking up the monies. If it were a music record, it would have hit gold. Jesus. Ooh. Over a million in sales already. Money. I know. I like that. Competitors have been observing muttering... Have been observed muttering, muttering jealous remarks. This is what I get when I don't wear my glasses. <laughs> I should hit you. Sorry! I got my sunglasses. But those are definitely Ooh. not helping me. Post-apocalyptic? Oh. I don't want... It's my date video, but Fallout 4 trailer uh, came out. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I really not that... I don't really care. It's like, oh no! They, uh -huh. they know when the video was made. Like, that date that it says it was published oh, okay. at the bottom. <laughs> but, mm. oh. But no, it looks... It looks really good. I'm gorging Apparently on it's, topics. It's gonna be set... Yeah. We gotta get them all. All the topics. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. But uh, it's based in Boston. Uh huh. I know what that is. Yeah, me too. It's um somewhere in North America. Yes, in that continent region. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Another memorable game by Delta has been released. Perfect how Dialogue in a game can be so much more thrilling than a movie or book. Every every stage, I really felt like I had choices. Was driving the story. Mm. Well, what can I say? Stop pretty. Start playing. Oh, Jorg. Oh, Jorg. Jorg Long. Oh, Jorg Longer. That's that's O with a double. That means it's no longer that's an O. Umlaut. So it'll be Jorg. I don't know. J Jorg. Um, it's Jim. Jor Either way, it's longer. Jorg Longer. Hmm. That's what he tells the ladies. <laughs> Either way, it's longer. Just just go it, with it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, was oh, it an RPG? I think it was an RPG. I'm pretty sure it was first. Quest. Oh, here we are. Fancy an RPG? Yeah. Yeah, because that's the first time I think we did that in this PlayStation time. 2? Good. Mm. Ooh. Play All system. right. Oh, yeah, is that what generation we're in? I guess. Damn. Yeah, we got this sweet. You had to go get edumacated, so we've been. It's been a while. Well, edumacation is important. Like, it's for true. instance, I just finished my, um, my last course for high school English. So I have a whole new appreciation for all the literary techniques going on in this game. Well, let's do a sim game. Okay. Um, City sim. Zombie sim? Airplane sim. Whoa. Well, it's a new topic and all that's that. That's one of the, um... That's like one of the first games I remember seeing. It was like a weird little airplane sim my dad was playing. Mm -hmm. My dad is really into airplane See, airplane now, now that the PC is... Oh yeah, yeah, there you go. It's good for, good for the sims. Um, yes. Sure, that's third on that one. Yeah. And the inbox. Oh yeah, does that cost us more money? It does. Okay. But we've got we... over a hundred million dollars. Jesus. I know. The Rubik's Coneling. Yeah. <laughs> I think everyone works for that. Yeah. Um, we will call it the Aeronautic Nauticular. I can't spell that. Okay. So I'm gonna call it something else that I'm gonna call it, not you, but me. Oh. Um. Foot. Air. Oh. Aerospace. Aerobar. Mm, good. Tracks in the sky. Tra <laughs> Tracks in the sky. Tracks in the. Wait, do you wanna make that young or mature or what? Uh, I we'll guess, make it. It's everyone. I guess. Yeah. I guess. It's a sim game. Works. Sim we, games aren't for the kids. Should we click that MMO button? Which, oh, the app. No, we're not going to make a simulation <laughs> MMO airplane game. That would be terrible. That would be pretty good. Well, I don't know. Terrible. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. So terrible. Yeah. Tracks in the sky. Yep. Tracks in the sky. Mm, I could go up some Tex Mix right now. I don't have Tex Mix. <laughs> I do have chocolate covered almonds, though. What? Actually? Yes, actually. Oh, those are really good. I know, aren't they? <laughs> All right, no branching story. Yeah, we'll have simple cutscenes. Yeah, my, I mean, my. Oh, we'll give it mod support though. Of course, sim game with mod support. Uh, that's where it's at. So good. It's gotta have tutorials too. And you know what? Mm -hmm. 
Let's market it with a small little campaign. Hype is already building, nope. too. Oh, Large were, campaign. Sure. Yes. That's two of our 120 million. I'm. Um, oh, hello. Do your estimated sir slash. No, no, no. It's esteemed. Maybe I should read things. God. With you know your glasses. I just gotta get close to the no, screen. No, because then it's gonna be weird with the audio. I'm financial advisor. Okay. <laughs> I'm financial advisor to CEO at Womoba Oil Limited in Nigeria. Okay. I'm writing because I know of your high repute and trustworthiness. Our CEO has authorized me to invest two and five million dollars in. Detlahard. Detlah. Detlahard. Detlahard. Is, is he like a disposed Nigerian prince? Is that we what's have, happening right pretty now? Pretty much, yes. We have deposited the amount at a safe bank and we'll transfer this money to you. Oh. But the bank requires confirmation from you. Oh, okay. If you have the funds, you must transfer a one time verification payment of $120,000. I trust in you. That's like chump change. Should we do that? No, I'm gonna do Does that ever it's turn out well? Clear, it's, no, it's clearly a scam. Okay. <laughs> If, if you, uh, Nathan, don't ever be like, I wonder if, I mean, sure, I'm sure this, those last ten Nigerian princes were all scams, but, I mean, it has to turn out nice sometime. It would, it would just be funny if, like, in a game like this, something like that was, like, a legitimate thing. I don't know. No. I would think. I would put it in there. We sold 6.8 million first quests. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, that's that's a lot, that's, of, that's a lot cool. of today. Micronoft presented their new console called the Mbox 360. It was for it was the first in the generation of expected consoles and features hardware riv riv rivaling 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 mid end PC counterparts Reval with a relatively cheap purchase price. Micronoft will be mm. selling the device at a loss as part of a long term strategy to gain market share. Hmm. Yes, that actually brings up an interesting um, marketing aspect. Gamers around the world are excited by the new console and it's predicted the Mbox 360 will have a massive impact on the console market. Whoa. Because if you look at the um, the first Xbox... Um, I try not to. Burn! Oh. Uh, the uh, the PS2 did better because it was, it was cheaper and more... Um, dialogue is not important. More streamlined. And then the Xbox 360 did better because the PS3 tried to go too kind of high tech, and they added it was like a hundred bucks more. And now with the new generation, the uh, Xbox One has tried to go kind of higher up and pay more money, and they've made a few kind of iffy choices mm -hmm. that have kind of turned people oh, here back to PlayStation. It appears that recently a few companies have fallen victim to Nigerian scammers. Whoa, what? The scammers often claim to invest large sums of money into companies, but required a sizable upfront payment to make the deal. Whoa, who would have thought it? I would Those who were unwise enough to pay will not see their money again. <laughs> Police are investigating, but seem helpless to stop these international scammers. My god. I know. There we are. I was right all along. We sold 6,879,496 units. Jeez, 96 million in sales. Yeah, it did pretty good. Wow. Wowzers. It, it sold a pretty penny or two. A pretty penny. A few half pence. No. If you will. We're, we're not in England. No. The Englands. We don't even have pennies anymore. I know. How Which, great is that? It's pretty a fantastic. Lot a lot of people were kind of concerned about not having pennies anymore. No one was really actually concerned about not having pennies anymore. I, I knew some old people who were a bit like, oh, pennies though. No one who knew anything. What about those people who like to collect pennies? Now they have to collect nickels. No, they can still collect pennies. They're just even more valuable. That's true. Anyway, I'm really glad we don't have pennies anymore. Yeah. Uh, let's see, a sim game does not need... Well, no. it needs lots of sound. Well, if there's usually one thing that doesn't need anything and one thing that needs a lot... World design. World design. That would make sense. All right. Um, you do that. Oh, yeah, geez. Jennifer. Jennifer. There we are. Jennifer, you look so hard. There we go. William Hunt. There we go. Stereo sound. Um... We don't need a rich backstory. No, well, we, no. We'll keep it open world, but take out the day-night cycle. But then they can be flying in the day and it turns into night? I mean, it's only 63. Yeah, but it's also the open world. Also, it would be put us over. Oh, okay, I understand. Right. Tracks in the sky. Tracks. Mm -hmm. Jeez. That hype, though. Yeah. We, um, oh, we're only 20 minutes in. I don't know. We still got a, another decade at least. Yeah. Like 35 years, I think? Uh, I think that's what a normal game runs. I mean, well, you can play as much as you want afterwards, but no, oh, no really? special events pop uh, up. Okay. 
Interesting. So, the M-Box 360. Open box. Does this game, do you think they like, uh, would update this game? To make it like go more than like 25, mm. like as time goes on? Well, this came out in 2013. Okay. That's pretty... Uh, I think they'll just put out a new game. Yeah. That would make more sense. Large booth! Yes. Yes! Measly 1.5 million. I left 1.5 million dollars in my other pants the other day. Really? Can, that's... can I have your pants? Well, I can't find them now. Oh. Fair enough. That's, that's the issue. <laughs> well, if you find them, just give me your pants. Okay. It's not weird. <laughs> no. Hand-me-downs? I live off hand-me-downs. I, I am the younger brother. <laughs> Living on hand-me-downs. Well, the hand-me-downs have a million and a half of them. I am, I am wearing hand-me-downs right now. <laughs> Alright. A new record in technology. Nice. And Miguel. It is Miguel. Miguel. Our design's really good. Alright. Trucks in the skin. On the PC. How many people do you think? Um, Over a million? I think this is a lot less than last time. Oh, no. Yeah. Wow. Not yet. Next time, though. Last time we hit, like, 96. Yeah. Number one booth of the year, but we never hit a million. Not yet. There we go. What do people think of Tracks in the Sky? It's meh. Yeah, it shows potential. It shows potential. All right, okay. okay uh, oh? There you go. Nate? I am not. I got no problems with the Nate. What the heck? All right. Okay. You know, it's... It's, it's, it's a decent, decent game. Yeah. I'm yeah. Um not bad. Do we need to Do we need to fire someone? No. Is it <laughs> No, I was on? gonna go What what are our options for custom engine stuff? Should we research some new things? Yes, research all the things. Okay. Well, then you generate game report. Mm -hmm. And you can research the graphics version five. I think we need that if we need AAA games. We'll need we'll, we'll need version six actually. Okay. Which so comes after this. Definitely. Let's get advanced stereoscopic 3D. Okay. Well, I like advanced stereoscopic 3D. Do we have all the topics? Should we have all the topics? That's a real question we want to ask ourselves. We do now. Uh -huh. Um, what do we want? <laughs> Cooperative play. Co-op play? Yeah. All right. Because I mean. Oh, we don't have the points for that. Oh, that's a hundred. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll get. Yeah, uh, we could have skill trees. <laughs> Save for the cloud. I mean, I guess. Basic physics. I like basic physics. Basic physics is pretty important. Okay, we got some basic I physics. Mean, that's why Half Life Two was so sweet. Basic physics. Yeah. All right. Gravity um, gun. Oh. Oh, I don't even have a start on the gravity gun. All right, I'm not going to. How about <laughs> we get some advanced cutscenes? Yes. We have basic cutscenes right now? Yeah. Oh, but now we'll have action. advanced ones. Ad advanced Wars. <laughs> you ever play Advanced Wars? Nope. There's so many games oh, that so could be ones. played. I know. Alright. As a kid, I used to imagine I had, like, like a time bubble, where, like, time stopped, and I could just like, catch up on every single game I wanted to play. And now I imagine that even more so. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I finally finished, uh... Custom Engine! My high school upgrading, so I now have time to play all those video games I wanted to play. Like, barely. Now I have a lot of video games that I want to play, and I'm trying to... I don't need them on the sound. Yeah, we'll throw it in there. I like throwing in all the yeah. things. Should we get rid of some stuff? Nah. We can afford... It's only a million bucks to develop. Oh, yeah. Is there anything that we just straight up don't need? Oh, uh, not really. Yeah. Yeah, it's not even a mill. Um, okay. Um, engine. Train. Tr um... Train of thought. All one word. Oh. But <laughs> Beautiful. A post release analysis. You can read it. Uh, <laughs> our post analysis, <laughs> post release analysis of tracks in the sky is complete. We got the final results. Airplane sim, good. Engine, okay. very important. Uh, oh, okay. Mbox and sim is good. Airplane and everyone, great. All right, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm on a million sales. Platinum. You have a vacation. Yeah. I want vacation. Oh, we should be able to drastically reduce the cost of building a game for a s multiple platforms. We reference our game engines for multi-platform development. Uh, oh, so that's a. Oh, okay. Yeah, it makes them cheaper to develop. We should. Uh, oh no, the Game Sphere is coming off the market, and the M Box will come off the market. The Game Sphere. Because. Ooh. 
Yes, the new. Mm, Nintendo. Yes. Today, Nintendo has announced their bid in the next generation console market by announcing the new. Yeah. Instead of trying to compete with Merconoft Phony. and Boney on hardware strength and graphical power, Nintendo has decided to deliver a truly unique gaming experience. The new features a control with a built in motion sensor, which allows players to stand in front of their TV. Use the controller as a counterpart to virtual objects such as a tennis racket. And then throw the controllers into their TV. <laughs> yeah, it's the first play test we've seen with huge grins on their faces. Seems to be a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Ninten the newer Nintendo, co Nintendo consoles are very. Uh, Nintendo's always fun. Yeah. They know what they're doing. They they have a little bit of experience. I really that's what I really like their marketing strategy of um, releasing. They release like, um, like a new, uh, like a new more kind of different game like um, like Splatoon, or uh, when they first released Pikmin. You know, it was All like right, a newer we need a, we need a strategy game. Sci-fi strategy? Lost We've done strategy. a sci-fi strategy? Lost, lost Let's strategy. take a look. Let's take a look at our our, our history. Yeah. Game history. Let's see. But for every every new game, they release like a uh, like an older kind of like like a Mario Kart. Well, they, Mario well, Party. To be fair, they always release Mario Kart and Mario Party. Yeah, but then those projects fund the the more innovative projects that they're thinking about making, right? Genius. That's why they have so much money. Here we are. Military strategy was our last game. The Gunnering. Yeah. Have we done anything with, with sci-fi yet? Uh, not for a while. I think in the previous timeline we did a few. Oh, the previous timeline. Oh, the timeline. It does not exist. Why did Why did we have to fight that demon in our living room? It never happened. Oh, what happened? Not well, after it didn't I happen enough. in this timeline. Which means it didn't happen. You just blew my mind. I know. <laughs> Um, so, okay. sci-fi strategy. That's going to be a great game. Yeah. Like, um, XCOM. They're making a new XCOM. I know! Looks good. Um, Apparently it's well, based obviously off it's going to go on... Based off the failed timeline of the first game. I think. Put it on PC, of course. Yeah. 360? Yes. Yeah. Bam. And then the... The... the um... The, the, play, the, play, the play system. system. Yeah. Good play system, too. We want to make it mature, everyone? Um, if it's going to be strategy sci-fi, might as well be mature. Alright. We're going to call it, uh... Zed Talk. I don't know. War Tentacles. Because <laughs> okay. it's sci-fi, and in sci-fi there's always tentacles of some kind. I think you're thinking of a different genre. I don't think I am. A different platform and different intent. Have you... Do you not remember in... Mass Effect? How the giant, horrible robots... Had little squiddy tentacles? I do remember one boss that had a lot of tentacles. Yeah. See? Right, you win this round. Ha <laughs> ha! Do you remember watching um, Sword Art Online and be like, this whole show was fan service? This... <laughs> no. I do. I was really disappointed in that show. I was mostly Online. thinking about, man, that would be horrible. Well, yeah, I mean, it was a cool premise, but then it just... Yeah, no, no, I mean, like, if you were actually in that sort of situation, was... the psychological trauma of it all. Oh, yeah, for Devastating. sure. Devastating. They didn't play enough off of that, I don't think. Well, I really, I don't know. I'm really sure it came, came up more of the original light novel. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Well, there was one scene um, in the second game. Okay, we, uh, we only have... We only take one option, one of these two 63K options. Actually, why? Because story's not important. Oh, okay. Um, so, linear story or simple cutscenes? Probably advanced cutscenes. Nope, it's too much. What if we take away a linear story? Still too much. Actually, what if we just rank Linear up? story or simple cutscenes? What if we just take Linear the... story or simple cutscenes? Simple cutscenes. Cut Alright. Cutscenes are so cool. There they are. Um, do you want... Uh, I can't remember if game player engine is more important. Well, we probably don't need basic physics. So that's, that's all fine. Um, we can afford it, so it'll, it's always good to throw in everything you can. All right. Gameplay. Game, game tutorials, yes. Uh, achievements, yes. I mean, yes. Do, should, are these bars? Are you happy with these bars are placed? Oh. I think and oh, I think engine. No. Yeah, I think no, that. I think that'll play. work. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that'll be fine. And of course, large campaign. We yeah. hype all the things. Hype everything. Oh, well, there we go. We've discovered how to make AAA games. You need a lot of staff and specialists. Oh, okay. And all that to make a great game. 
Whoa. Uh, to develop special marketing campaigns. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. Gamesphere is no longer supported. Oh, Gamesphere. Mbox no longer supported. Maybe Gamesphere just kind of rolled around. And because, and because I had a little motor around that I had to spin to like. All right, let's. That it just kind of like rolled, rolled as it were. <laughs> Ooh, that's not too bad. No. Worse than our last one. It well, it made its uh made money. Is there anything I don't think there's anything left for us to research in the budget. That's all, right. all we care. Ooh, it's rolling keen from Smash! Smash! Got word that Delta is working on the game. Share some information. We'll follow, we'll think about this. Yeah. We'll come back soon. Stay tuned. <laughs>